What's happening, everybody? We're back with another project update, and there's a lot in this one, so let's get to it. We had a good weekend. We spent all day yesterday at the Decatur Swap Meet, Decatur, Texas, and if you've never been, you need to check it out. If you're anywhere near the Metroplex, Dallas-Fort Worth area, it's not that far of a drive. It's huge. We spent like five hours walking around up there, and I still don't think we saw half of it, but we were able to come away with some scores. We got our hands on a, I think it's a 10-gallon fuel cell. Um, it's practically new. I think it's only had fuel in it one time. The seals on the lid look almost brand new. It's got good fittings on it, so I'm pretty stoked about that. We got our hands on an aluminum high back race seat. Uh, we'll cover more on that in a minute. We have other more pressing matters, and I do mean pressing. So it turns out we're going to end up going to the machine shop and having some pressing done. Because that number seven piston in our project bracket car 440, um, it's not giving up the fight. Here's what I mean. So we were able to get the oil control ring to let go and the number two ring to let go, but the top ring just, yeah, it's, uh, it doesn't want to participate. So since we still have all eight pistons from Knuckles 440, we're going to get those pressed onto our, had a guy ask me this question, our LY connecting rods. There's the stamping right there. So we know these things will take a beating. I'm not too worried about them, but they are motorhome stock rods that came out of that 440. They are LY rods. Don't ask me crossers rhyme or reason. That's the deal. So we'll get all eight of those pressed on and then we'll fit it with brand new rings because I had a guy ask me that too. We do have not one but two boxes of brand new stock bore 440 rings. Um, so yeah, brand new build. Why wouldn't we use brand new stuff? Speaking of the 440, we did get it back from the machine shop. They think they made this thing look awesome. The heads cleaned up really nice. They put brand new cam bearings in the thing for us. Eric came by today and we spent the majority of the day priming this thing. It looks incredible. And because I'm that guy, I had to take just a few minutes and try to like mock the thing up so y'all can get a scope of what we're trying to work with here. And this is what we got. Here we are. Now, granted, it's not finished yet by far, but you can kind of get a, a grasp of what we're doing here. The tunnel round, the two fours, the big headers, it's ridiculous. I'm all about it. That's how we're going to do business. It's going to be great. So the seat debacle. I really wanted to use this high back aluminum seat. I really, really did. And Eric and I tried 15, 16 different ways to get the thing to like sit in the car, set level, be comfortable. The only real drawback was it was kind of difficult to get in and out of the car with it, even with the door bars. So I went scrounging around and I found these old plastic buckets that I'd had hiding in Sergeant Dodge, our 74 D100. And this quarter stick that I had completely forgotten about. So I'm pretty stoked about that. But we took some measurements. Eric's going to stop by a machine shop tomorrow that specializes in metal fabrication. Try to get some brackets made up for us uh, so we can get the plastic buckets mounted. We'll save that aluminum high back for another project down the road. And that's kind of where we're at. No, uh, nephew's going to come by tomorrow. He said he's going to paint this thing for me, which I think is awesome. It's cool having his help. I love having him around. Speaking of him, with his project, his engine is completely built. Uh, the last weekend I was over there, we kind of got held up cleaning up and painting brackets that we'd forgotten about. So the engine's not in the truck yet, but it's getting really, really close. We're probably going to stab it at the end of this week. Eric took the liberty of going ahead and jumping the gun on us and getting started taking that Duramax apart. So we need to make our way over there and get that thing moving because we're going to be needing that thing for a tow pig here soon. Um, but that's where we're at. So if you guys are turning wrenches in your shop, hope everything's going well. Keep us posted on what you're working on. And if you haven't started following us yet, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you if you have and keep watching. We'll see you then.